Hello and welcome to this video on why things are seen. By understanding some of the factors that allow us to spot the enemy, we will be able to better camouflage ourselves to defeat observation. With a knowledge of camouflage and concealment, combined with good observation skills, we should be able to observe the enemy in their routine while remaining undetected. There are lots of things that can give away someone's position. So let's first look at a video example and try to remember what it was that drew your attention to the objects or people. There were a number of items of personal military equipment. Did you spot them all? There was also an enemy. Did you spot them too? Let's have a look back at some of the video. This time, we'll pause and we'll identify the objects and we'll talk about why they were seen. The first item is a black water bottle in the foreground. Its regular shape, its dark colour and the fact that its surface is reflecting the sunlight drew our attention to it. Next, in the shadows in the middle of the forest, we had an enemy that was observing us. Hidden in the shadows with their shape broken up, they were initially hard to see. However, when they started moving, their position became clear. Next, we have a cook set. We can see the regular shape and we can also see steam coming off the boiling water. Because of the flame, at night, this would become really clear. Moving back to the foreground, we have two items of clothing. You may have spotted one, the bush hat hanging up in the tree. The second item is a smock on the ground. Because of the disruptive pattern, it blends into the bark of the tree and it also helps with the shadows and the sunlight. The texture of the jacket is very similar to the texture of the bark. In the background, we have a basha or shelter set up. The straight line of the ridge of the basha silhouettes it against the sunlight in the background. It's a very regular shape in an irregular forest. The next object was a torch to represent something metallic. At night, torches and bright light are a danger to us, but during the day, we need to be careful of metallic or shiny objects. In the middle of a picture was a helmet. 
It had a helmet covering so the shape was broken up, but it was a dark brown colour, uncharacteristic to the surrounding grass. Next, we have somebody walking from right to left. The route they have chosen doesn't take into account any of the natural cover available to them. We can see them because they're moving, and the sunlight in the background is silhouetting them. Take a look out for these next two and see how they have used the cover to observe us. Do you see the tree moving? Is this natural? Is there somebody there? Or perhaps it's a distraction? There are six common reasons why something is seen. These are shape, silhouette, texture, shadow, spacing and movement. Let's have a look at some of these in more detail. The regular shape of this observer's hat, head and shoulders stands them out from the surrounding terrain. In order for them to blend in, we need to break this up. Now that we've camouflaged the helmet, they have blended in using some of the natural foliage from the long grass and the bush behind them. We need to break up regular shapes in order to camouflage them. Here an observer is getting into position. They have picked some high ground on top of a ridge. However, with the bright sunlight behind them, their position is silhouetted. A better position is to crawl back down off the skyline to make sure there is no high contrast background and to avoid themselves being silhouetted. We also need to be aware of the textures and the materials that we're using. Here, the combat jacket is very clearly not the same texture as the surrounding grass or bark in the tree. Depending on the direction of the sunlight, we may be casting some very clear shadows. Here, the lead member of the patrol is themselves in cover. However, with the low sunlight behind them, they are casting a shadow in front. While they may not be visible, their shadow may be visible to the enemy. Finally, we look at the effect of movement. Here, we have a well camouflaged observer. They remain still, and they can remain undetected. However, if we have an observer who is fidgety or needs to get things from either the webbing or their smock pockets, that will create a lot of movement. They break the position and suddenly the position becomes clear and obvious to the enemy. We must avoid any unnecessary movement. To summarise, understanding why things are seen will help us avoid detection but will also help us when observing the enemy. Future lessons on observation and camouflage and concealment will build on these principles, enabling us to be more effective members of the section. Remember, you need to try and minimise your visual signature. Thank you for watching.